So good morning, everybody. We are um, putting in um, our chicken feeder today for waters. I've already done the feeder, and I'll show you that in a little while. But I'm working on the water part right now. On the water part, um, we've drilled a one-inch PVC line with five sixteenths holes all the way down it. And we're going to be putting in these things, um, chicken nipples. Um, they will uh, allow the chicken to peck the end of it, get water out of it, without um, having water everywhere in the cage. So now we've drilled all these 5 16 holes down our pipe, located where we want them at. We come back through with a three-quarter or a reamer, something like that. I ran it backwards so it wouldn't cut through all the way. And we have now a hole that looks like this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our 5 16 and we're going to clean this hole back out a little bit so that it's cleared out. Now, I took a 1 8 inch MNT bit threaded on the end, and that is the same thread as the end of the nipple. And the way you can tell whether or not you got the right piece is take a nipple with you. And if you line up the two threads, they should interlock like so. So, very slowly, we're going to run these through with this piece. Now, this piece will push through. I have it attached, threaded into the end of the gun. So I'm going to try to get this a good shot for you so you can see what's going to happen here with it. We're running it slow, and once it starts to grab, it will thread. There's the threading starting. And we don't want to over tighten it. And now we've cleared a hole out for our chicken nipple to go in. And it goes right inside. Threads up nice. And they wash on the back. Box it in. Don't over tighten. So, this is uh, our water system that'll be going in. And it'll hang. There'll be water fed from here. Coming down into it. From the outside so that I won't even have to go inside to change their water or to change their food to do any of that I'm gonna show you what we did with their cage give you an overview of it so I apologize for the sniffles uh, changing the weather and uh, the allergies have been really rough. The wood stove on one night. The next night, we don't have a wood stove on because it's too warm. So it's kind of been crazy out here. But this is our coop. Okay. And uh, inside here, I made up plenty, plenty of nesting boxes. Now, this coop can handle up to 30 birds. Oh, we uh, have uh, about 32, 34 square feet. Um, so... On that just a square footage, not the overall height footage. And they say they allow one to two, so we can be in a 16 to 20. If I need to expand it, I'll have to big enough to expand. But inside here, you can see these PVC pipes. And these are going to be their feeders. The chickens will peck their head in here and get what they need. And so that I don't have to crawl inside and put anything in. Outside here, we have the pipe that comes out. And the other pipe that mounts to it. Now this pipe won't be glued in. But at the top of the pipe. We have a removable cap. I can get it off here. Maybe not. Might have to take it off later on. But anyway. This is where we're going to take off. Fill it. We'll keep our food dry. We'll have a supply of food in the tube. And in the tube down there. If for some reason I need to take it out and clean it, it'll come apart right at that joint right there. So part of it will be left inside, part will be left outside. And this is the way it mounts, which will give us a chance to be able to put food right in here, straight in, not have to make a mess. 
I opted to go with a little bit less uh, open area for the chickens as far as uh, screening goes. So they have a, a one foot by eight foot screened in area at the top um, to give them some fresh air coming through that way. And at the bottom, um, we have the full screen bottom on it. And uh, that full screen bottom will give them air from the underneath side. Um, there will be a bunch of bedding in there to keep them dry. This is our chicken nesting boxes that we put in. We will put just a simple uh, screen screen door lock, essentially, it would be on it. And then at the other end, this is our door for our chickens to get in and out of. And we have two turnstiles on it, which will keep, uh, because they turn up, it'll keep any animals from getting into it. Slight little tug, down the door goes, and there they go, have their little run. So, that's where we're at right now. And as we update, um, I'll show you the full thing as we're totally done. Thank you. Have a great day. Don't forget, subscribe to keep getting the updates.